Welcome to my Psycho Diaries and this is C Sharp MVC .NET interview question video series. Today's question is what is the difference between for and for each loops in C Sharp? When to use for loop, when to use for each loop? So if the for loop is a general purpose loop that allows you to specify the initialization condition and iteration expression in the single line okay it is a general purpose you can use it for a general purpose where you can initialize the value or initialize the condition okay uh, you can give the condition and the, you can have the expression executed okay so this is how your for loop will work whereas for each loop for each loop is specially designed for iterating over the elements as, as i told you in previous slide that it will iterate each item from the collection so it is designed for that okay so it is used such as array list and other types that implement ironable interface which is basically for the collection of uh, items whereas for loop is general purpose you can use for anything so for loop, loop basically typically used when you know the exact number of iteration you want to as you see in the syntax that where you have to define the condition you should be knowing the exact number of uh, uh, the iteration you want to do okay whereas for each loop it simplifies the process of iterating through the element okay especially used when you don't need to track the index explicitly there's no need to track what is uh, what is required what is the index of the element in that uh, uh, list okay in that case you use the for each loop overall overall if you summarize it, both the thing so for loop use a for loop when you need a precise control over the number of iteration that is very important you need a control over the number of iteration and when you want to explicitly manage the loop variables whereas for each loop use for each loop when you are iterating over the elements in the collection okay, if you are trying to use the collection and you are trying to iterate through the collection then you have to use a for each loop do not need to access the index of the elements so if there is no need to access the index then you can go for a for each loop if you want to know more details of this topic then please check out video link displayed on the screen if you like this video then please like share and comment do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click on notification bell for latest update thank you for watching